Hello, VG247's oh, Dave Cook here, checking out Pikmin 3. Now, I have to confess something right off the bat. I, I didn't actually play the old Pikmin games uh, until quite recently because I, I sort of missed the whole GameCube thing at the time. I, I could only afford one console when the, the first two Pikmin games came out, and so I'm only just playing catch up. But I really like many things about this game, actually. It's, it's strategic and actually quite difficult in parts, but it also has that sort of Miyamoto sort of that charm and, and the sort of cute characters and very unique ideas that. Um, have become synonymous with the series and Miyamoto over the years. I think one of the, the, the big issues I have about the game actually is that it's very stressful. You know, your ship has crash landed on this planet and there's, a, there's always this constant pressure to find food. And, you know, if you go down to the planet during the day, you basically have to leave before the sun sets or else all these like creatures come out and eat your Pikmin. So there really is this constant like stress to like find food and basically know what you're doing all the time. Like for example, this wall here, I'm sort of breaking it down with rock Pikmin. Uh, if you didn't know that, or if you took like the wrong type of Pikmin along, you, you would basically set yourself back and lose a lot of time. Another thing that I find really interesting about this game is the ability to throw your co-pilots. This is uh, Brittany, and she's been thrown up on that platform by Alf to basically then throw the Pikmin up to grab the lemon. And you basically take that lemon back to the ship and they condense it down into juice, which gives you a couple of more days survival. Now, I, I there is this like weird XCOM style pressure, like I say, you know, like the clock is always ticking, you need to make really tough decisions about what what part of the planet you descend to, you know, how much food you've got left, all these little things you have to consider. And if you don't really know like where things are on a level, like for example this uh, bridge I'm building, if you didn't know that there was this shortcut here, you could spend a lot of time taking the long way around levels and, and kind of just wasting a lot of time. Luckily you can roll back to an, uh, an earlier day and sort of retry and, and sort of have a second stab at things. But um, you know, that there's a lot of undoing, a lot of trial and error, and, and to me that's not really the kind of thing I, I enjoy in games, you know, I, I like it in games like Dark Souls, but you know, there's this pressure to get back to the ship and, and sort of stow away all your Pikmin in this little ship called the Onion before nightfall. Uh, and if you fail to do that, you know, you basically lose all the Pikmin that are out in the wild, and you set yourself back a lot. So I think it's maybe because I don't have a lot of time on my hands to play many games these days. Um, but you know, to me, to me, the sort of trial and error, you know, redoing things is, is not really appealing, but I can see why people would enjoy it. Um, no joke, though, if you do like XCOM, uh, the sort of stress and sort of, like, micromanagement that, that brings, then, uh, yeah. I mean, you can see here all the, the food. I, I never really had any more than four pots of, of juice to sort of survive on. That basically, it, it's a pot per day, so, you know, that, that gives you a, a measure of how many days you can survive. But if you go down to a planet and you don't know where you're supposed to go and you don't find any fruit, you've basically wasted a day's food, you've set yourself back. And I, I find that very, very challenging. To be to be fair though, you know, it, it's a very in, a welcoming challenge. I think if I had more time I would def definitely invest a lot more into it. But as it stands, it's full of great ideas and it looks lovely as well on the Wii U. And there are some cool puzzle elements, like, you know, uh, very small puzzle elements, but, you know, chucking... You can see here I'm chucking uh, Brittany over this gap, and she's going to take all the Pikmin and make a bridge for us all to cross over. It's, you know, very, very simple puzzles, but at the same time executed very, very well. And there's so many different pic uh, Pikmin types to consider as well. The red guys are impervious to fire, so you can throw them at fl uh, sort of flame-based creatures. The, the rock guys can be hurled through glass or crystal and even, you know, break the armor of some, you know, much, much tougher enemies. You'll see one of those soon in the video. Uh, what else? There's blue ones as well. They can go underwater. The yellow ones can withstand electricity and they can also break down electrified fences. And as you can see here, the red guys can smash down these little sandcastle walls. Now... Yeah, I mean, one thing I really have to point out about this as well is I'm, I'm not playing this game with a Wiimote. I'm playing it with a gamepad. Now, you can see the little cursor that I'm using to sort of, you know, uh, command the Pikmin. You see I'm whistling at them there. If uh, Unless you're actually pointing at the screen with a Wiimote, that, that is really hard to aim, especially in the middle of boss battles like this one. I find it very, very difficult to specifically point at what I wanted at speed. And with this boss, you have to be very fast. 
So the idea here is that you're meant to throw the rock Pikmin, you know, to sort of break the armor on this thing, and then throw the red ones into the gaps to actually do damage to it. But if you didn't know that, or, or say you, you didn't bring enough rock Pikmin or not enough red ones into the fight, then you, you could spend ages trying to defeat this thing with no, you know, you wouldn't be able to do it, and, and you'd waste a whole day. And it literally is just a case of restarting the whole day again if that happens. There's no sort of like soft restart or checkpoint. And these things allowed me as well. Um, you can see here Alf saying that he's going to keep this Pikmin separate. I mean, that thing's clearly a bomb. You know, it's got molten lava in the middle of it. It's clearly dangerous. Yet, once you, you know, exhaust a certain type of Pikmin, your captain moves over to the next type. So you can see here I'm throwing all these red Pikmin up to Brittany. And I throw one too many. And as you can see, I'm throwing the, the bomb Pikmin. And watch what happens. You know, shit, I mean, I mean that's just great, isn't it? I, I mean, all those Pikmin are dead now. You know, I've kind of hit this impasse, and I was quite far through the day. And I need to restart. I, you know, I'll never make that same mistake again, but, you know, it's still massively annoying when it happens. This level really annoyed me too. Um... Alf and Brittany have been separated, you know, complete opposite ends of the level, and they have to use different uh, Pikmin types to, to reach each other, building bridges, knocking down these fences and everything. And the game always tells you that if you split up, you can do things faster, you know, you can cycle between each character when they're stranded and, and sort of collaboratively try to f solve the puzzles. I can tell you it's definitely not faster and it's actually really confusing and maybe it's just me but flicking between both of these guys in a level that you have no idea of, of the layout, you know, you keep on getting hounded by these hurry up messages, uh, it's, it's a pressure and I, I, I can tell already it's the kind of pressure people will really love but maybe I'm just not that kind of guy. Uh, eventually you will find shortcuts like this so every time you leave the planet and come back you know they're there for next time. Again, it's very much like Dark Souls, you know, when you open up a, a locked door that sort of shaves, you know, five minutes of travel time off your off your level, off your attempt. And yeah, I think I think once you start to figure out where these things are, it all sort of comes together. And yeah, if, if that you're the kind of person that likes that, you're gonna really enjoy Pitman 3, certainly.